Over the past year or so, this camera right here has been my workhorse and I literally used the crap out of this. It is now... And it's now dead. I've probably made over a hundred videos with this, used this for over a year, and I definitely got a lot of use out of this. But when you're making a ton of videos, using it every day, shoving it in and out of a backpack, your gear gets messed up. This camera doesn't turn on, the screen's barely hanging on by a thread. I'm pretty sure the lens isn't supposed to do that. But yeah, this Lumix G7 has been a great asset, but we're done with it. We now have a new camera. What I am using now for my vlog and video creation setup is the brand new, well I guess new-ish, Canon M50. And the reason why I like this camera so much is for a couple of reasons. One, it's very small and compact. Look at that thing. Tiny. It's actually smaller than my previous camera too. And it also has amazing autofocus. Look at this. What's up? That's that Canon dual pixel autofocus. So on point, I love it so much. But the Canon M50 also has three of the things that I absolutely need when it comes to a vlogging camera. Number one, flip out screen. Right there, I can see myself, you can see me. Flip out screen, absolutely necessary when you're filming yourself so you can get the angle just right for your vlogs, for your shots. It's just so helpful to have a flip out screen. Number two, my camera needs to be able to shoot at least 108060. I need 108060 because of all the different sports that I do, and I need to slow it down and get it to look all smooth and beautiful. And then finally, I need to have a microphone input so that I can have decent audio. Right here, I'm using the Rode Video Micro along with a Joby Gorillapod, making for a very nice, small, compact vlogging setup, easy to pick up and go. <sighs> I'm just really happy with this thing. So this video is gonna be a vlog test Using my new vlog setup, every item that I use to make these vlogs will be linked down below. But yeah, I'm super excited about this camera. It's actually a relatively cheap setup, under a thousand bucks for everything here. But let's take a look at the footage that I get. You can watch it and then you can determine if this is the right camera for you. All right, so no donuts this morning, but it's all good because we're in the Old Town, Alexandria area. And we're just gonna chill, cruise around because it's nice out. So it is so incredibly hot out today. Exploring is not a good thing to be doing today. It's so hot and humid. I literally feel like I am melting outside, but I am in such a cool area. I just can't help but walk around and just explore. His name's Dolan. But yeah, it just feels good to be out in nature every once in a while. That's the one thing I love about DC. Like a few miles away from the city, you can be in an ocean view near some boats and the water with some seagulls and some ducks. It's awesome, I love being out here. <sighs> Ain't nothing like the smell of some water with questionable things in it. So far, I am absolutely loving this camera and this lens. The dual pixel autofocus is amazing. Everything is so sharp. Oh, I just love it. This camera just works so easily, but it's way too hot out. Let's get out of the sun. So it's all nasty and rainy out in DC now, but I'm on my way to a Creator Fest party event. Check it out. It's at a really fancy place here at the Wharf in DC. There's gonna be a lot of like photographers and fashion people there. People that I'm not completely used to at all. I really hope I'm not underdressed. I'm just wearing jeans and jeans and a t-shirt, but hopefully it's pretty cool. This is my first time coming to one of these. I'm excited. Hi. The fashion shoot going on, I love it. Okay, this is way fancier than what I'm used to already. Oh, sorry. I'm inter interrupting everyone's fashion shoot.
probably the fanciest Lunchable I'm ever going to have. Cracker, cheese, some type of cured meat. What is this? Well, y'all do it right because this is amazing. This is the proper way. <laughs> this is the real way. This is the proper way right here. Okay. All right. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. Hey, first try. Oh, well, we got more. <laughs> Can't catch two. First, first, first one was a lucky one. The Second first one, one was a good one. Forget about that one. Check this out. I know, right? Strip me. Oh, <laughs> Fail. <laughs> what the hell, Ronnie? Is it at least recorded? Right. Is it on camera or no? Yes, it was. Cool. That was, was that a, glorious? It was very epic. I mean, we were all worried about it. Even the music stopped when he fell. Yo, what is this crack? No way. No, I'm just kidding. Are you kidding? <laughs> I actually, I did break something now. Oh wow, that you broke it. Yeah, it's uh, okay. My lens is fogging up a bit. Weather here near the DC area is so weird. One day it'll be hot like the surface of the sun and then after that you just get rain for days. Oh, the humidity! But one thing I need to do before this vlog ends is of course ride my skateboard. It's been a while since I've actually skated. I've been sort of like a little couch potato lately and I need a little bit of exercise and to me skateboarding is a pretty good form of exercise because it's fun. And even though it's soaking wet everywhere, I do have this spot under the bridge. like one of the first few tricks and I already hurt myself. Ah, oh, I might have to be off my board for a while. Ah, oh, the ankle's not feeling too good. Okay, I think I'm done for the day. Every skater's worst fear. All right, so after owning the Canon M50 for a little bit now, I gotta say, I absolutely love this tiny little camera. This is the perfect vlog camera for me. It's small, it's portable, and it just has such a great image quality to it. The autofocus, coming from a Panasonic Lumix camera, the autofocus on this camera is absolutely insane. It's a hundred times better than what I'm used to. That dual pixel autofocus is just amazing. This camera combined with the 11 to 22 that Canon makes is the absolute perfect combination for my needs when it comes to vlogging. And I think the only drawback that this camera has is in its 4K capabilities. You can only shoot at 24 frames per second and there's a really big crop to it even when using a wide angle lens. But personally I don't use 4K so it's not really much of a factor for me. Anyways guys, this is my new camera now. It's what I'm going to be vlogging with for... Hopefully a while. Hopefully I don't destroy this one too. I am super excited about it. If you guys have been looking into getting the Canon M50, I hope that this video has helped you out at least a little bit. And if you're a regular watcher and you've noticed sort of a jump in quality, that's all thanks to this camera. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section down below. Anyways guys, that's the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for new videos every week. And until next time guys, stay stoked. I'm out.